Hey, it's Brett here, and uh, I got a request to do a review of this guitar. So I bought this in a music store in Morro Bay. It's uh, it's called Central Coast Music. It's got like a pink exterior, and um, it's a Luna guitar. And the reason I like it is the neck. I used to have a three-quarter size guitar. That I think I sold to a student or gave to a student. It felt really more like plastic. It felt like a toy. This actually, the neck feels like a real guitar. Really the whole thing does. And I had some other Luna guitars in the store and they felt cheap. He said it varied. It's made in China, of course, but um, I mean, it doesn't sound as loud as a normal guitar. It sounds, it doesn't sound as full, but the neck feels like a real guitar. You can play it pretty high. You can even, I guess, play it. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say about it. I just like it because now I can have this in my car at all times. I like these little uh, dragonflies. The little moons are nice. So this guitar was like... 180 and um, probably buy it cheaper online, but I prefer to support lo local music stores. And for me, because a lot of times I'm busy or going around doing stuff, so having a guitar in the car makes it a little easier. Um, it is fun to play on a three quarter size guitar. So, showing in one of the videos I did, like, let's see. This is kind of a cool change I would normally not do. So I'm doing like an A5. And right to this, this is a C shape. There would be a C chord, D. And E is the seventh fret. So I'm playing seven, six, four. That's E, G sharp, B. So what I'm doing is going from A5 into that shape. Normally I wouldn't do that on a full size guitar because it would seem kind of weird. So that's pretty cool to play on a smaller thing, but um, also another thing I noticed is interesting because the other guitars he they had at the store looked like solid wood, like dark, like like this kind of color, but on the front it looked really nice. But um, I liked these little designs. Um, but the other thing is, aside from feeling cheaper, the other one, which was the same price, was the tuning pegs felt cheaper. So I've noticed, I used to teach a lot of kids and help set up their guitars, and a lot of the three-quarters El Cheapo guitars were just terrible, and like the, they would go out of tune really easily. Um, yeah, a lot of little kids' guitars are just really bad quality. So the, guy, the guys at the store, the owner and someone else mentioned another type of guitar that they liked for smaller portable guitars, but I can't remember what the name was right now. I think it was like $700. Um, so, yeah. That's about it for my review. There's not that much to say. I mean, for $180, it's a pretty nice guitar. So, be curious. Someone posted a comment and said that they had the same one if you like it. So, yeah. That's it. Thanks.